Yeah, Brent and Sarah, they say the shortage of housing is decades in the making, and they say it's not just a crisis. They say it's a social justice issue. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Connecticut's economy can't grow until its housing stock grows. That was the message from advocates representing 45 organizations across the state. With a legislative session three weeks away and campaign season over, advocates marched to the Capitol with a clear message for lawmakers. That we're at a point of crisis, both with housing affordability and housing segregation. We've got uh, folks who want to be here and are here, uh, and we've got too few places for them to be. And we know the basics of economics, supply and demand, um, when the demand is high and the supply is low, that prices rise. A so-called housing crisis impacting thousands of families. People like mom of two, Jahaira Vega, who says she was evicted in West Hartford after calling the fire department about a dangerous heating concern. I had to leave my home and became homeless with my two daughters. We bounced from motel to motel. Growing Together CT held a press conference in the legislative office building Tuesday with hopes of encouraging lawmakers to adopt proposals it hopes would grow Connecticut's affordable housing stock by 135,000 units over the next decade. Really modeled off of what's going on in New Jersey, fair share planning and zoning, where every town plays a part in addressing our need for affordable housing in the way they plan and zone. In addition for zoning incentives for communities that build affordable housing, they're asking for a state investment of $50 million. We are asking for an annual appropriation that will be used to fund uh, communities that uh, doing their share to build more housing in our state. The proposal also calls for added provisions to protect renters like Vega. I was on month to month lease, so she was able to evict me simply because she was angry with me. And we caught up with that mom one on one. Coming up at six, we're going to share her journey from Section 8 to homelessness and why advocates say she could be one of thousands. I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.